नमस्ते टू एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यूएचवी 3 एंड इन यूएचवी 3 वी वर डिस्कसिंग लेक्चर 21 यस्टरडे व्हिच इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ मॉड्यूल 5 एंड इन दिस वी आर बेसिकली लुकिंग एट द ह्यूमन कंडक्ट the all encompassing resolution and the way to live so in the human conduct we had said that there are two formulations from where we can look at human conduct from different angles one is model 1 and the other is model 2 right now we'll discuss model 1 in the next lecture we will talk about model 2 in model 1 what we are looking at is we are looking at what the role of a human being is in all of this when we are in the process of understanding existence we see what what is our purpose what is our role in this existence now when we are doing this we said there are two possibilities one possibility is to look at our conduct when we are moving from the lower to the higher activities like we are doing now starting from the lower activities we are slowly trying to awaken to the higher activities and then eventually um get to the highest activity of realization and be able to see the existence the way it is this is one possibility and we can look at our conduct when this is happening the other possibility is when we are moving downwards from the highest activity of the self then we are coming down so yesterday one question was there about this second possibility you know when we are moving down from the highest activity of the self now this we discussed yesterday to some extent but there may be a few questions so we will take those also and um if we see if we start from the top like there are many ways of getting to realization and we said one of the ways is this through the exercises through moving up step by step from the lower to the higher activities whether you move from the lower to the higher activities or you move from the higher to the lower activities either way until and unless we are clear about our sanskars until and unless we are able to see which of these sanskars is in line which are not we may keep having a feeling which is not in line so ultimately it is important to be able to see the imagination to be able to look at our conduct starting from our sanskars and seeing if they are in line or not which we were doing in the exercises also and next round we will be taking only the exercises without the entire content of uhv3 so we can spend more time have more um sort of um time to look into the exercises in more depth so this model of going down from the highest activity of the self to getting all the lower activities in line with the higher activities or this model 2 this is what you know 
or not model two, I should say the second possibility of model one. This um, we were going to see that what is how it works when we go from top to bottom. And we said that with the activity of realization, by seeing the, it is the submergence, then this becomes authenticated for me and I start looking at how I can be a part of this. Because now I can see I am embedded in this. I am not separate from this. That I am interconnected. So with this, I can look at, you know, when I see the nature, when I see the harmony in nature, now I can see why and how it is the way it is because I have the base very clear. I can see that in the existence, this pattern is there, this submergence is there, the space is there, which is ever effective. It is there for each and every unit is enveloped in space. There is no place where space is not there. All of this I am able to see and with that, this understanding of the harmony becomes entirely complete. Now there is no doubt. Now there is no ambiguity. Now I can see my own self-organization also. In, in addition to the self-organization in every unit. And I am able to see that my role is just to be in line with this. So with that, I have the determination to bring all my lower activities in line with this. So I am now looking at the fact that each and every unit in this existence has a role to play. It's not that something is more important and something is less important. Each and every unit is important, is playing some role. And that highlights my participation. That highlights for me my focus on my own role. Am I also doing what every unit in this existence is doing? Or am I trying to do something different? Trying to be special, trying to be unique, trying to mastermind things in nature. So I'm able to see my participation and with that, when I see that, now all of this, this seeing the coexistence, the harmony, the relationship, all of this becomes my guide for my desires. So my desire becomes to live with relationship, harmony and coexistence with one and all. That becomes my prime desire. And so my feeling is in line with that. And my thoughts of how to go about living in this manner, how to participate, how to be one with the existence, that part I start focusing on. And because my desire is fixed, my desire is to live in relationship, in harmony, in coexistence. Now all my thoughts come in line with this. And so do my expectations. I'm no longer looking at the senses for pleasure, but rather I'm using these senses for not only the health of the body, but also to be able to see the purpose of the human body. 
and to be able to express this desire of mine to live with relationship with harmony with coexistence so i use it for that so in the next slide we were saying on the one end we are working with realization within we have the realization within and with that we are going down all the lower activities and then we have at the other end the expression outside through the body and within us also this leads to feelings of happiness peace satisfaction bliss and so on so the major task that has to be done in this is to be able to understand things the way they are and to be able to see my role and in yesterday's self reflection this is what we were wanting to see for ourselves so how much of this is actually happening in our life this was the question how much are we bringing our lower activities of the b2 block in line with right understanding or if we don't have completeness of right understanding natural acceptance and this will be apparent in our behavior so we tend to think okay right now i am thinking like this yes i am thinking very much in line with the existence but these are my thoughts right now but when i am actually living that's when my sanskars play out that's when i don't even realize and i start getting a feeling of opposition so in my living how much am i able to bring this that is a hint toward how much i have really understood it should be visible in my behavior behavior with other human beings when i work with nature and in my participation in every larger order that i participate so if there are any thoughts on this we can take them now or even if there are questions yesterday there were a couple of hands raised and we couldn't get to them so we can take them now chadidi namaste namaste sabhi ko am i audible didi yes you are on yeah uh, first uh, i have a doubt didi like mm -hmm. in this uh, previous slide there are two methods mentioned that we can go from Uh, the lowest activity to the highest activity or from the highest activity to the lowest activity mm -hmm. by either way if uh, self realization is achieved mm -hmm. then the conduct of uh, human being will be definite in both the cases is it so well that is a question mark because there are many many methods by which you know hundreds and maybe more thousands of methods by which people have worked on this in in the tradition so supposing you jump to realization but you haven't really understood things along the way that is one possibility but is it possible that without even knowing anything and someone gets realization well if you see from the behavior you will see that you know there have been many or several important figures who have been talking lot of sense um you know but when it comes to their own actions there are gaps so people who say they are realized but there may be gaps 
in the behavior. So therefore, it raises the question mark. Plus, if you see, you know, there are contemporary um, so-called masters or who gurus or people who are you know, talking about helping others. So one such person is uh, the author of a book called The Power of Now. I don't know if you have heard of it or read it. Have you? No, Vivi, I have not read it. I have heard of it, but not read okay. that book. This is like a, it's, it claims to be a modern view to enlightenment. Okay. And it is written, written by a person called Eckhart Tolle. And if you watch his videos and you see the content he talks about, he's basically talking a lot of sense. He's talking about whatever we are discussing in different words. But essentially, he relates, like in the very first chapter, he talks about something that happened. He was close to suicide. And then something happened and he was able to see things in a different light. But he didn't understand what he was seeing. <laughs> so then he spent a lot of time going through even Indian scriptures and so many things trying to understand what had happened to him. And then he realized that what people were searching for, that um, seemed to be what had happened. And so he tried to understand things in a better light. So I'm just saying keep it open. Since we haven't gone there, I don't think we should close the issue. But even that, you know, it's not something like you think that, okay, let's jump to that, that is faster, nothing like that. I'm sure in the journey of the self, people must have reached a certain level at some point, maybe in a previous journey, which we may not recall. And there also, uh, it's not easy. It's not effortless. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Even now that I'm doing all this, when I just started, I was like, oh, I am aware, I know, I am changing, Correct. there are changes. But yes. the more I am exploring, I am seeing for the past few days also that the more I am exploring, the more I am able to see that, oh, this is also there in me. Yes. Like when we, we have so many things in our house that mm -hmm. we even don't know about. It's only when you know, Diwali comes and I clean my house that I come to know, oh, this is also there. <laughs> yes. So similarly, now that I am exploring, now that I am aware, many, many things, many issues, I didn't even realize that it was there. But when something comes up related to it, then I feel that, oh, I have uh, you know, opposition to this also. I have some feelings which are not naturally acceptable to this also. So there are so many things that I think spending 10 minutes or one hour uh, is not sufficient for this. So I need to spend more time and I need to be more time aware of all this. Then only everything I think will be covered. And it is a time taking process, I think, because there are so many things that are so deep rooted that even with this content, you know, being in touch with this content and people who are following all this, I am not able to get rid of those you know, deep rooted, rooted sun stars with my upbringing and all those things. So, very true. Very true. Yes. In fact, this is very, um, um, you know, credible, very good that you can see this. Because a lot of times, like you said, we tend to skim over these things. First, we treat it just like another course. Then we say, okay, you know, 
we've been we've done this course so now we know this yeah but really um until and unless it comes in our living until and unless it makes a difference to my level of happiness at every moment it's not good enough that we slowly realize and things like this what we are doing every morning trying to work together this draws our attention to small points somebody or the other brings it up and it draws our attention to these small points where we can see our behavior and see that we haven't quite understood things fully yet and yeah. it will take time certainly it will take time because we have not developed these sanskars overnight it has taken a long time for us also it's not in this journey only it is from many journeys before so even to come out of it to be able to align these sanskars to the way of the existence it may take time yes yes I think yes. masters talk about this that it does take time. Yes, yes. If you have heard of Lao Tzu, sorry, Lao Tzu, the Chinese Lao Tzu. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he talks of this existence as the way. They call it the the way. Now in that. i mean he has written extensively about his thoughts on various things but essentially for each person to be able to see it on their own ultimately that is significant because otherwise mm -hmm. we are just getting somebody else's viewpoint and what that person is describing in words may not be enough for us to see yes yes to be Like we like experience saw, on, yeah, even, yeah. even in this session, we saw when we are talking of space. Everybody may be getting a different idea of what space is, and assuming that they can see it, you no. Know? But yes, yeah. ultimately, until and unless I see it directly, I don't quite know what is being talked of, because the words just don't suffice, isn't it? Yes, yes, Didi. So we all have to keep working on it. But the important thing to note here is, it's a journey. It's not that I have to be miserable till I reach the top. No. Yes. So this in the journey, while on the journey, being stopping to smell the flowers, stopping to, you know, sort of. Um, love be joyful spread joy to others all that is significant i yes. don't have to become tense and like uh, some people feel no it's too early we don't want to get into this because we become boring or you know uninteresting to people and so we lose our friends it doesn't have to be that way yes we ourselves will enjoy the company of people because we can see the relatedness not for the opinions not for their thoughts but because i see my relatedness with them and i i sincerely want to help them so you can notice that when you are wanting to help somebody really help them out of concern not trying to change them how do you feel inside You feel good. You yeah, feel. Yeah, we feel good. Yes, we feel, feel good. Very good. Hmm. So if you are always feeling good, and with that feeling good, you are doing all this, then what you set out to achieve, you are achieving it. Yes. But we tend to get stuck with all this, like I am being forced to. I keep pushing myself, forcing myself. It's not about forcing. It's about slowly moving up and becoming awakened to these higher activities and then seeing 
that this is how it is and then wanting to come in line see my desire means now it is my desire that i want to live like this when it is my desire and i can see that then i'll do whatever it takes to bring my feeling thought everything in line with this yes. and very soon yes. as a natural outcome it will flow in my expression yes 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 didi yeah thank you thank you didi thank you namaste 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 to all namaste oh <laughs> after reach a person reaching at the stage of realization and then does authenticate for understanding and then there is determination and then it uh, determination effects our contemplation mm -hmm. and contemplation then imaging comparing analysis collecting and testing mm -hmm. these things come down like that and that that is affected i mean uh, that is influenced by the first activity that is the realization so in that mm -hmm. case uh, uh, what is the role of desire thought and expectation yeah see the desire thought expectation is whenever you are doing something outside you know whatever you want to do outside you will notice that before you actually do it you are thinking about it isn't it don't you find that you don't just do things so if i have to if i decide i have to go to the office early so first i decide i have to go so within me i take that decision and then accordingly i give instruction to the body to wake up early to get ready early and so on and the day that some relative of mine is coming my maybe my son or daughter is visiting from outside i may choose to or decide to take leave from the office that day so that i can spend time with them so i don't just go and take leave i first think about it isn't it i decide sometimes it is so fast that i may not be aware of it but it seems only natural to me oh i need to spend time with my son or my daughter so today i will not be coming to the office i must spend time with them because he is there only for a day or whatever i'm just giving an example Yes. so you notice that for everything in fact that we do outside what is significant is what we are thinking yeah yeah if i am thinking something different it will not happen outside oh. so supposing you know my feeling is not being driven by relationship i am not able to see that then if i have a feeling of opposition but i am hearing this and uh, i am saying that you know okay i need to have thoughts of um relationship and i need to see how to express the relationship and i may actually do it in the behavior also i may try to do things outside but my feeling at the base is one of opposition it will not work and all the while you will notice that you are very uncomfortable you are not happy it's like you are being forced to do something but you are you are you are not it's it doesn't seem to be like your decision you feel like this is not what you really want to do if you really see what is happening inside but if your feeling is in line supposing your feeling is one of concern of relationship then you do it in a very joyous manner 
without any sort of disturbance within like that simple example i gave of say your child coming home now you are excited to see your child you are excited to be with that child you want to spend time you have this very strong feeling of relationship for this child so you don't think twice i mean if there's something important at the office you might delegate it to somebody else you might request somebody to take you know your place or do something but you are willingly and happily doing this isn't it yes but supposing somebody else is coming to your house who you don't much care for and you are being told that you know it's better you spend time with him at home so don't go to the office today say some relative is coming and you don't get along very well with that relative now that person is coming to your house and you are being asked to take off from the office now you will make thousand ways of you know telling yourself that why it is important to be at the office and why you shouldn't have to stay at home because you really don't feel like doing it can you see the difference yes sir so ultimately what is significant is your desire your thought your expectation because that is what is driving your behavior outside also and the behavior outside is only the expression my happiness or unhappiness is totally dependent on my feeling inside within me yes so even outside supposing i take off from the office to be with this person that i dislike so i am at home i am doing whatever needs to be done outside but inside i am very restless and unhappy because i feel i am being forced to do this and i don't want to do it but the same situation with my child i didn't feel that way i was very happy to do it nobody had to tell me so you see the difference no yes why it is significant this answers your question yeah and another <laughs> that uh, the uh, at the stage of realization it it is uh, dep- uh, i mean it comes when we def- we feel the coexistence of the in the i mean four orders or larger order and then in that case so how our thought i mean, I mean the thoughts are directly uh, it can be modified or refined when we have the feeling of coexistence or not see when we say activity of realization that means we are directly seeing things the way they are yeah if we are saying feeling of coexistence then we are talking about being at the level of desire the imaging part mm-hmm. but really to have the feeling of coexistence all the time you would naturally have to be able to see the coexistence then only will you have this feeling of coexistence all the time otherwise momentarily you can try to have the right feeling from time to time but again your sanskars will drive your feeling this feeling that you have every moment you find your feeling may be changing or every few moments and this feeling is being driven by your sanskars right now whatever i have assumed isn't it yes. so if if i assume my relationship with my child i have a feeling of relationship if i assume i don't have a relationship with my spouse or my spouse's parents or somebody then i don't have that feeling of relationship at that time yes see? so this we can see even at the level of relationship with human beings so if you are looking at entire existence everything in this existence being able to see the oneness 
in everything until and unless i see it how will i keep having that feeling so the activity of realization has to do with directly seeing it for myself and the feeling of coexistence will come once i can see that you know i even if i get to the realization this is what we are saying we need to work with our sanskars if we don't work with our sanskars and we don't look inside from time to time the sanskars will take over because even now when i can see that when i have the right feeling i feel good and there are moments i have experienced the right feeling and i can see i feel good yet there are times when i still behave with others in a way where i may be reacting whether outside or inside i may still have feeling of opposition from time to time now even though i have seen it experienced it but i have not worked on my sanskar again my sanskar will drive the feeling can you see that yes yes yeah so ultimately we have to work with the sanskars also yeah yeah that's right but yeah. basically the the real the realization of coexistence is a feeling or not see realization of coexistence is actually directly seeing it within you bringing so, your feeling in line that is at the level of the b2 block feeling is at the level of b2 block then if it is not a feeling then it is what uh, seeing means what that's what <laughs> so <laughs> when we when we actually see it there will be no doubt about it but seeing okay. within directly within mm -hmm. yes thank you <laughs> namaste didi <coughs> namaste to all after a long time we are listening to you <laughs> yeah yeah i am listening but Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Didi, actually, uh, whatever you are saying is, uh, I mean, it's very true. Like, kind of, I am, uh, I am seeing that I have this um, scar of taking, you know, uh, pleasure from the senses mm -hmm. now, and um, it's like, it's kind of a dependency that you. create and it comes back again so i then go to i am currently trying to go to the step um, uh step 4 uh, of it like seeing that there is a sensation and then seeing that i am i mean there is a sensation just sensation and then i am getting a ta uh, i mean i am associating a meaning with it uh, that this is a pleasurable sensation or not so mm -hmm. kind of creating a separation between these two that now i am eating something and um there is a sensation coming while eating and now i am associating a tag and then i am attaching a label that this sabji is good like mm -hmm. or something like that so i am kind of working on it <clears throat> but what you said like uh, when while we are moving from bottom to top is that like the when we observe then this uh, this awareness that my samskar is coming back again and again and uh, which is making me dependent um, on uh, external things leads me to um seeing the i mean leads creates within me a desire to see the vyavastha or harmony then uh, then when i again go to harmony see uh, because i have that desire i will likely tend to see or work on it to see the harmony then still there is a gap and i know that the still my samskar are acting or something like that and then it will create a desire 
to see in me the sahastitva or coexistence so is it like till we actually see the coexistence there will be a uh, in there will be a gap um there will be always something which will come that which is not naturally acceptable to me uh, on the lower levels also so um it's kind of till we go to that state it will not be even complete for the other uh, you know down the steps which are dependent on it yeah to some extent that's true because is see until then it's all here say da yeah. i hear yeah. something i may mm-hmm. believe it no and if yeah. i believe it strongly enough that i bring all my sanskars in line with this belief then it's a different story but then normally what happens is when we believe something hmm and we develop a sanskar according to that belief now it is not 100% definite because tomorrow the belief can change true so if the belief changes sanskar again changes yeah so directly seen it myself and even if somebody says otherwise i don't listen to them because i know yeah I'm very sure in myself with that surety it is almost spontaneously you can say that i want to bring my feeling in line with this i want to live like this so therefore i have that feeling and with that feeling then i drive my thoughts accordingly but if i have very deep rooted sanskars and i don't look at my sanskars then that possibility is there that from some moments i, I will again slip into the wrong kind of feeling when i have say opposition in front of me or something true yeah and we, yeah and what you were saying about the sensation regarding food and things like that see huh. important thing to see is that until and unless i fill that void inside me yes i will keep looking outside yes for happiness na so uh, mm. my focus if my focus is on ensuring the feeling within me this outside part will slowly become less and less but if i am trying to control the outside that oh i should not eat this i should not eat that now i am reacting but that inside void is still there so what do i do with that again i will try to fill it through this happiness from outside so i need to secure that feeling inside when i am full and i am happy inside then all this looking for happiness outside will become less because i will this is what will drive me yeah uh, didi i mean that's what i mean um uh, the it's like uh, ensuring feeling is actually seeing that feeling right i mean uh, it's it's like it's there within me already i am not you know bringing it from somewhere outside in some sense mm-hmm. right this joy which is i am getting it's not there in the object of eating for for example oh. i am taking yes so it's it seeing the meaning i am giving to it yeah and so yes. therefore it is within me in some sense yes. i am i am i am kind of water kind of attention i am able to give i am seeing actually all 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 uh, everything is similar actually i mean in some sense whatever i eat if i actually observe then the sensation is similar in some way similar in the sense at the level I of know. yeah didi uh, am i audible yeah. yeah we'll have to be brief because we need to move further okay. also yeah. yes yes so uh, i mean the this thing i wanted to just check with you uh, like um, while ensuring this feeling or hum jo bolte hain while ensuring the feeling of uh, harmony 
एक्सप्रेशन आउट साइड इन दॉर्म ऑफ behavior work and participation so this expression outside for this you are using the body but until that happens everything else is happening within me so the actual decision making process the deciding the wanting to do it the desire to do this all this is within me and then i give the instruction to the body and my focus shifts from my happiness to mutual happiness in my work with nature my focus shifts from only my prosperity to prosperity in nature also and when i see this mutual happiness when i am working for mutual happiness and i expand my vision i see beyond that limitedness of relationship that i see i start seeing my relationship with every human being no matter what their thoughts their color their, what they look like what they dress like what their opinions are what they have done in terms of behavior whatever it may be i see my relatedness with them then i am working for that undivided human society and that is a possibility which is quite possible as we keep moving towards this similarly when i am working with nature i am seeing not just what i gain but also ensuring at every step my concern is for nature for ensuring the prosperity and for this participation in the larger order in every role i see what i can do to help what is my participation how i can make things happen better for all the well being of all becomes my concern and ultimately this fulfillment of the human goal this helping others understand so that we can form a tradition this can happen generation after generation so all this is possible they are big words but ultimately it is doable and it starts from within me yeah next slide yeah so now this is the same slide that we used earlier also when we were talking about the science how to go about things so starting with realization then you know working with or seeing the harmony the relationship the relatedness and with that relatedness seeing my participation 3.2 then bringing all my thoughts also in line with that about how to go about doing that and then actually coming down to using the body to do the or to express it outside to actually do it outside so you will see it in your behavior with other human beings your working with nature in everything in your participation your role becomes clearer and you are able to 
manifest that outside as an expression through your body. And with that, it fulfills my own goal of happiness and prosperity, along with the human goal, fulfillment of the human goal of understanding for all and a universal human order with an undivided human society, till 3.9 we reach, this process becomes a cyclic process where you can keep going generation after generation, generation after generation, this can happen. So this understanding can be there, not just for me, but for generations to come. It becomes a, uh, like a flowing um, system. So it becomes a tradition. All this is possible. And when we do that, next slide. When we do that, when, then we can see that now, once the human being is set right, then the whole pattern in existence is complete. Already the other three orders were fine. They were already, you know, um, the, the relatedness, the harmony, the coexistence was all there for the other three orders. It was only the human being that was getting um, with the wrong kind of assumptions, was not in line. But now, being awakened to the highest activity, being able to see it all myself, then I don't fall back to that. This development within me. This is not cyclic. This is not something that once I awaken to the higher activities, I don't fall back. Then I keep, I start from where I am. But if I am in the B2 block, then that part again and again, I may fall back. But once I awaken to the higher activities, then once I awaken to all the way up to realization, I don't fall back. That development is not cyclic, it is linear. Next slide. Yeah, so we said, In model one, we have two possibilities, our conduct when we are moving towards the higher activities of the self and conduct when we are moving down from the highest activity of the self. This we talked about, you know, the second one. Now briefly, we can talk about model one, the first possibility, when we are moving towards the higher activities of the self. So in this, you know, moving from lower to higher activities, we start from the lowest activity, you know, and we start with seeing the form, we start with seeing some part of the property of the units, we see the units as separate, we talked of this, isn't it? Then ultimately, as we awaken to the higher and higher activities, when we awaken to, or not really awaken to, when we are using these higher activities within us of thought, of logic, of reasoning, analyzing, comparing, then we are also able to see some part of the property of the unit, the impact of one unit on the other unit. But if we don't awaken to the higher activities, then we stop there. Then all our life is focused on, see all our desires, everything is focused on just this information we have about what things look like 
and the impact of one on the other but at the essence what is there which is what is unifying what is universal what is definite what is continuous that we have totally missed and therefore all the confusion so as we keep moving up when we contemplate on the relationship we see the relatedness that's when we see okay you know i have a relationship with every other human being in fact with every unit in nature and i start being able to see the self organization in the nature in every unit in nature and including in myself also and i understand this better this self organization this innateness and with that now i want to be able to see how this is possible how everything is related how things are in nature also so defined so well organized so that quest that wanting to know that drives me from the lower to the higher feeling uh, the higher activity and ultimately i want to be able to see it directly it's not good enough that somebody is saying this or whatever little i have seen i want to see how it is like this like many of us ask this question na how would it be that curiosity is what drives are looking for it searching for it so like you know people like ramna maharshi what he said was just ask who am i that's it that was his advice to most people question yourself who am i and if you are able to see yourself you will be able to see everything else also so this quest inside is what drives us to be able to get to that activity of realization and to be able to see directly what it is how things are and then like we said you can come back to um move in that direction have all your behavior in line with that have all your sanskars in line with that so i think this is what we had to share today can go to the next slide i think uh, yeah so some of these things we can work on observe your current conduct and investigate whether it is aligned to human conduct or not this is one line sentence but it can be a lifetime of work because this conduct we can see you know in our day to day life everything identify the areas where your conduct is not completely humane and detail out what you are thinking to do about it so unless we pay attention inside unless we see what is happening within me and how i am aligning myself to it or not i am not able to make much progress so to make progress if we want to see all the way we have to work we have to make effort so we'll put the assignment in the group also and i think we are out of time